Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of this crazy Mustang build. So, things look a little bit different to you? Well, a couple things have changed. Um, this is going to be a really short video, kind of give you guys a update on what's going on with the Mustang build. I haven't had a lot of time to actually build or anything like that. Um, I had to tweak some things from the last video. Maybe you guys caught it, maybe you didn't. Um, but the wheelbase ended up being too long um, for this build. So I've shortened the wheelbase since then. Um, and I've had to redesign a couple of things. So let's get in here and take a look. So starting off with the uh, fender flares. Um, I've got this side, they're pretty close. I've got a little bit more body work. Um, but you can kind of see they're pretty rough at least this side is um, from what they look like on the other um, I've still got a lot of cleanup to do on this side but that's coming along um, I'm really really happy with the way they turned out um, the way I ended up attaching these is just with a little bit of super glue um, why they look so rough is I mixed up a little bit more resin and kind of poured it into these gaps you can see that one needs just a little bit more um, but not too bad um, they are you can see this is one piece that I cast cast another one and cut the ends off um, to blend everything together frame wise maybe you guys can see it right now um, I had to rebuild the whole entire back half of the frame. Um, <clears throat> reason for that is I needed to shorten the wheelbase. When I shortened the wheelbase, the frame didn't fit inside the body anymore. Um, let's see if I can get this hood off real quick. So I've got some markers in here or some kind of templates. These are just some scrap pieces of styrene that I glue to the body and this is a spacer for the rear that uh, holds the frame nice and straight so there we go um, you can kind of see now how that rear end of the frame fits so let's talk about what's going on back here um, the first tabs here are the sway bar links um, the sway bar will sit in those pins and then this one is the pan hard bar that uh, connects to the rear axle um, still a stock part of the frame i ended up moving the front suspension well, let's see if it's close by and it doesn't look like it but i ended up moving it um, back just a hair so I've got to build a little plate to go in here to remount the holes um, so we'll build kind of a half tab in here to uh, relocate these holes about right there it's about as far back as I needed um, rather than that everything is pretty much the same on the Mustang um, I told you guys you know a real short video just kind of giving you an update keep you what's uh going on with this build um if you guys ever have any questions on how i do things or um anything like that or any of the products that i use um feel free to throw them down in the comments um you know we're all here we're all here to help each other out um in this model community you know give shout outs where shout outs are due if you've learned something off of somebody else's channel you know Give them a shout out. Send them over to their channel. Um, even if you just post on Facebook or something, you know. Let's help each other out. A um, little bit of rambling. The end of this. Um, but, you know, just help each other out. We're all just here as model builders and, you know. Everyone gets it, but we just don't do it. Um, <clears throat> but anything, you know. If you guys caught my live stream, I worked on the boat. Um, a couple of guys brought up some really good questions. Um, I have responded to them, so. But I hope you guys uh, 
enjoyed this kind of short little video. Um, hopefully next time I'll have a lot more done and we can get uh, moving on with this build. But until next time, guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop.